Well, hello again everybody. It's your old pal here. And uh, I see by the flowers on the fava greens that it must be May 22nd, 2012. And time to bring you the latest new trend. Well, you've heard of green onions, of course. And those are yummy. And green garlic has gotten trendy. But what's the next thing? Well, logically, how about green shallots? Now, here are some shallots that I planted on the 11th of March here in Michigan. We had an abnormally warm March, and then we had five weeks of freezing every morning and cold all day, like living in a, in a refrigerator. But I think these shallots are ready after nine weeks. Now, these make very handy equivalents to green onions. Dig them up like this, and as you can see, they're uh, all together. A single bulb planted in March, it uh, divided, and you have essentially what are like little green onions. And you can cut these up and use them like green onions. Uh, also, I find them particularly delightful in that they're shallot in the only form that I like to eat raw, except for you know, some mature shallots. You can mince them up and have them raw in a salad dressing, but uh, for the most part, shallots go cooked. These can be eaten raw in a salad if you chop them up. Uh, they're also extremely good for cooking. I would use the, the entire plant, the green parts, as well as the white down here at the base. Uh, with shallots, these will all uh, grow into green shallots if you want. Just harvest them after about nine weeks when they're like this. And uh, there are three types of shallots, large, medium, and small. And they're all good for uh, growing for uh, green shallot. The thing you want to remember is to give them a little bit of space, not a lot. Make sure they're weeded. And make sure when you plant them that the tip of the shallot is right level with the soil. Here is one I planted last fall, and this is going to be considerably larger. It overwintered, unmulched here in Michigan, and as you can see, there's lots and lots and lots of these uh, essentially green onion type things. They can be used wherever you would use a green onion, and it's very, very mild flavored, and I think if you find that if you put them in any savory sauce, uh, any soup or stew, anything that's um, sautéed in butter, it will make everything taste better. Just use a little bit. Don't try to overpower people with the flavor of the shallot. You just want to add it in to uh, blend with the other flavors and enhance them. I find typically with shallots that if you don't tell people you're using them, everybody says, well, that was really nice and it tasted great and I don't know why. Anyway, just a quick look how the garden's coming along here in early spring. In a moment I am going to harvest a nice big salad for lunch. And I will talk to you later. Good to see you again. Bye-bye for now.